Hi everyone, Scott here and welcome to my channel. I hope you've had a great final week of February. I can't believe that we're already two months into 2021. Today's video is the first in the series that focuses on my creative writing adventures. I hope to share with you some of my creative writing stories as well as the ins and outs of my experience as a creative writer. In this video, I'll be talking about one of my first major short stories that I wrote at the beginning of my degree called Guardian Demon. I wrote the story in the early days of spring in 2019 for a university course called The Short Story, run by author and university lecturer Matthew Hooten. Without further ado, here's a little sneak peek at my short story. Heaven. Such a beautiful paradise. Brandishing a silvery halo, soft wings, and a pure white robe, I watched the happenings of the humans on the strange planet below. Back then, each angel was given a soul to watch over and guide. I had been minding my own business when I first laid eyes on my assignment. I remember it as if it were yesterday. She was but an innocent young girl, uncorrupted by the depravity of the world around her. Born to a not-so-loving mother, an absent father, and two delinquent brothers, her family hadn't the decency to gift her a name. Her 11-year-old brothers were tyrants, tugging at her curly chocolate hair and flicking her button nose. However, her mother was far more unpleasant, forcing her to sweep the chimney, clean the stove, scrub the floors, wash their clothes, and countless other chores no seven-year-old should ever be forced to do. Although they cared not for her, she was courageous and strong, enduring many a terrible night in the red brick house by the park. One leafless winter evening, she mustered up all her bravery to approach her gorgon of a mother. I thoroughly enjoyed writing this story, and editing it recently has allowed me to see how far my writing has really come. I often enjoy writing my short stories based off of supernatural prompts, or prompts that get my readers thinking. More than anything, I write my short stories with the hope that they will get my reader to think about how they live and why. When writing this piece, I recall finding it somewhat difficult to try and properly flesh out a character without a name, getting muddled up between the similar pronouns between the mother and the young girl. However, immersing myself in the perspective of an omniscient angel really helped me frame the narrative arc. When beginning my writing process, I did my best to plan out the entire story, character by character, scene by scene. But as I wrote, I found that my story had taken a life of its own, taking me on the journey, letter by letter. If you'd like to read the full story, you can become a monthly member on Buy Me A Coffee, where you get exclusive access to this story and the future stories that I will be posting. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on my creative writing shenanigans, as well as videos on my book, Take It From A Teenager. Feel free to follow me on my various social medias. You can find the links in the description and follow my writing journey. I am constantly writing new short stories, so stay tuned for updates. And until the next video, go out and live your best life.